In this film, the steps for examining a pregnant woman will be demonstrated. In this film, the demonstration will be shown and alternate between two pregnant women. The obstetric abdominal physical examination of the pregnant woman is especially important since both the condition of the mother and the baby will be assessed. In preparation for the examination, the healthcare professional should ensure that the fingernails are short, neat, without nail polish. Artificial nails should not be worn. There should be no jewellery on the hands or wrists and hands should be cleaned with soap and water or sterilised with alcohol. The pregnant woman should be given the opportunity to empty her bladder before the examination. For the examination, the pregnant woman is placed in a supine position, with her head supported by a pillow and her arms alongside her body. To prevent aortocaval compression from the gravid uterus, a left lateral tilt position is often used. A pillow can be placed under the woman's right-hand side to achieve around 15 degrees of left lateral tilt. The steps of the obstetric abdominal physical examination are explained to the patient. The obstetric abdominal examination begins by looking at the patient. The general appearance of the patient should be noted. Whether she appears stable, comfortable, pale or breathless. Close attention is paid to the face for signs of anemia, jaundice, nasal congestion and facial edema. The legs and feet of the patient are examined for edema and varicose veins. After the general assessment, the abdomen is examined. The pregnant woman is instructed to expose her abdomen. Firstly, the shape of the abdomen is observed. Note that the shape of the abdomen in a normal single pregnancy is usually symmetrical, unless there is a polyhydramnius or multiple pregnancies. After observing the shape of the abdomen, it is inspected for surgical scars. This may give an idea of the patient's surgical history and may be important in the management. Note that for the observation of a scar from a caesarean section, the pants must be lowered further down than seen here. Next, distended superficial veins are observed, as well as umbilical hernias, which can be seen by asking the patient to cough, as well as cutaneous signs of pregnancy, which include the linea nigra, a dark line from the umbilicus to the pubic region, the striae gravidarum, which are purple striae of no clinical significance, the striae albicans, which are white striae, giving an indication on parity. And lastly, fetal movements can be seen, giving an indication of viability. After the abdomen is inspected, the abdomen is palpated. Take note that the hands of the healthcare professional should be warm and the uterus should be non-contracted. If on palpation the uterus feels hard and contracted, the woman is asked to take a few breaths to relax, thereby relaxing the uterus. A non-contracted uterus is important for a reliable outcome. 